The Northeast province of the Jesuits have released their own list of priests accused of abuse. Now, these 50 priests have all, quote, established allegations against them dating back to 1955. Only 14 of them are still alive. National correspondent for the tablet and crux Christopher White joins us now to talk more about this developing story. Christopher, thank you so much for being here with us. Several dioceses have already released names. Why is it so important that the Jesuits have done so? Well, Liz, the Jesuits are among the most uh, sort of popular religious orders in the, in the world. They really make up a lot of sort of the teachers and the scholastics as well as just priests. So they're heavily involved in universities and school systems where there are a lot of minors. Uh, and so the thinking is, of course, this is sort of, you know, a vulnerable population. And so uh, transparency is the best way forward. Are there any names on this list that are well known? Uh, we, there is one named Father Keith Pecklers, uh, who is a, a famous liturgy scholar who teaches at the Gregorian University in Rome. Uh, his allegation dates back some 30 years ago. Uh, uh, other names are sort of household names, but they mm -hmm. are sort of prominent positions, former principals uh, and sort of teachers at places like Boston College Prep, Fordham University, Regis, Xavier. Uh, and so, you know, Jesuit institutions that have a lot of sort of cachet uh, certainly are having to face this reality today. Christopher, I think one of the big questions on people's minds is why have we seen so many dioceses and religious orders uh, release lists like this in recent months? What's behind that? So in terms of the timing, Liz, uh, really in August, uh, it proved to be a game changer when the Pennsylvania Grand Jury uh, report was released that chronicled seven years of sexual abuse within the state six Catholic diocese mm -hmm. and a lot of bishops and a lot of religious leaders thought if we don't uh, sort of get our own house in order the state uh, and federal authorities are going to come after us so that's sort of the, what's been motivating this. The rationale for a lot of uh, the pushed release names is if we put the list out there, one, we're being transparent, mm -hmm. two, uh, we're allowing an opportunity for other victims to come forward uh, so that they don't feel like it, they're the only one, perhaps. Uh, so uh, that, that's typically the rationale. All right, Christopher, thank you. A lot of great perspective there. Really appreciate it.